Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the reading of our Sunday morning devotionals for January 30th, 2022. We're going to start off with Sarah Young's book, Jesus Today. The first of three scriptures which accompany the reading is from the book of Psalm, chapter 55, verse 22. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. And from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28 through 30. Come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And finally, from the book of Psalm, chapter 13, verse 5. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. Cast your burden on me, and I will sustain you. No matter what your circumstances may be, I can and will carry you through them. Sometimes you are weighed down by a situation that seems too heavy for you. Do not try to cope with this burden alone. Instead, bring it into my presence and cast it on me, releasing it into my care and keeping. Although your circumstances may not change right away, you can find real relief through this process. Casting your burden on me is a spiritual transaction. You acknowledge that I am in charge of your life and that outcomes are ultimately my domain. This lightens your load immensely, relieving you from feeling responsible for things which are beyond your control. When you come to me weary and burdened, I have promised that I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, trusting in my unfailing love, and let me carry your heavy load. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And now from Sarah Young's book, Jesus Calling, for the 30th. Worship me only. Whatever occupies your mind the most becomes your God. Worries, if indulged, develop into idols. Anxiety gains a life of its own parasitically infesting your mind. Break free from this bondage by affirming your trust in me and refreshing yourself in my presence. What goes on in your mind is invisible, undetectable to other people. But I read your thoughts continually, searching for evidence of trust in me. I rejoice when your mind turns toward me. Guard your thoughts diligently. Good thought choices will keep you close to me. Taken from the books of Psalm and 1 Corinthians. And now, from David Jeremiah's book, Strength for today, for the 30th. Our lesson is entitled, Moses Wrote About Me, 
Moses wrote about me. Our scripture is from the book of John, chapter 5, verse 46. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. Moses lived 2,000 years before Jesus, yet our Lord insisted that he himself, Jesus of Nazareth, was the subject of Moses' writings in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That's quite a claim, but Jesus was actually understating the truth. Not only did Moses write about him, but so did the psalmists, the prophets, and all the other writers of the Old Testament. The Hebrew scriptures had only one ultimate aim, to introduce the Messiah to the world. They described him, predicted him, explained him, anticipated him, and commended him. Some people never have inward flutters about their faith. They are so convinced the Bible is true that doubt doesn't rattle them. But other Christians have occasional moments when they say, Is this really true? Is Christianity really true? After all, the secular world attacks the Christian faith every day. The fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy about Jesus reassures our faith. Jesus is on every page, and he himself is the fulfillment of prophecies made hundreds of years before his birth. The Old Testament gives us a firm foundation for faith. And now from Sarah Young's book, Jesus Listens. This devotional is in the form of a prayer, the contents of which were taken from the books of Mark, 2 Corinthians, the book of John, and the book of Micah. So let us pray. Almighty Jesus, all things are possible with you. These powerful words from Scripture light up my mind and encourage my heart. You are training me to live by faith, not by sight. So I refuse to be intimidated by the way things look at this moment. I'm thankful for the sense of sight, a spectacular gift from you. But it's easy for me to be so mesmerized by the visual stimulation around me that you fade into the background of my mind. Help me instead to focus primarily on you, trusting in your promises and trying to see things from your perspective. Teach me how to grow closer to you, Lord Jesus. I delight in knowing you as my Savior and friend, but I want to relate to you also as Almighty God. When you lived as a man in this world, your miraculous signs revealed your glory. I know that you continue to do miracles according to your will and purposes. Please align me and train me with yours and your will to watch in hope for you to work. In your powerful name, amen.
Lila and I really would like to thank you for joining us for the reading of our Sunday morning devotionals for this last Sunday in January. Spring is on the way. We've had some sunny days and I can just feel the promise of new life as we go on into our next month. I hope you have a lovely day and a wonderful week. And may God bless you all. Take care.